What's going on YouTube? It's Lee Thornton. I wanted to talk to y'all about how to repair your credit. Just some quick tips from a realtor's point of view because that is a major thing going on. A lot of people need to, uh, it's kind of tough, you know, you get behind on your bills and your credit kind of falls to the side. But there's some ways that you can do this yourself it's, rather than going to a company and paying them a monthly fee to do it for you. Uh, most of the credit unions, you can sign up for one of the credit.com companies and you can check your credit there. Now, when you check your credit, you can have the option to dispute anything and everything on that credit report. So that is what you should do. You should dispute every item on your credit report. Um, no matter what it is, uh, don't worry. They're not going to take your school loans off. They're not going to even take your medical bills off, but they have 30 days to respond. And some of those smaller type of companies, some of those things that hit your credit, they, they could fall off. They have 30 days to respond. And uh, you should do that every single month. For If you were to pay a company, they'll do it for a full year, as long as you're paying your monthly bill. They'll dispute with the letter every single month and that company has 30 days to answer back and say yep this is legit this is on the credit and then it'll stay on your credit report but if they don't respond they'll have to take that off your credit report so that's step one you can easily do that yourself like i say to one of these credit.com i'm not gonna say any names of the different companies just google them choose a choose a really stand up company and it's gonna have a monthly fee for you to to be with that company but as long as they have those type of features it's worthwhile all right so once you do that they'll remove it this is a really good time of the year it's near christmas and near the holidays the holiday season companies are a little bit busy so they might not respond within those 30 days so i suggest you do that and step two is really important uh figure out a budget that you would want to spend towards taking things off your credit report or paying back your your debt because that's exactly what the company will tell you if you were to go with a credit repair company. They'll say, what's your budget that you can spend? And you would want to make sure you have that. So figure out your budget that you can spend out of each check. And you know, I don't know your pay schedule, but if you get paid two checks a month, four checks a month, one check a month, you know, pick your budget. Hopefully it's a, a nice healthy amount so you can knock down as much debt as you can. But before you start paying your debt, before you start picking a company and start paying that off, call that company and negotiate a settlement. Now, what that means is they'll sometimes settle with you and knock, knock it down 75% or as low as 10 or 20%, depends on how old that debt is. So you want to do that, make sure you have that, that negotiation with them and figure out how much you really have to pay. Because if you can negotiate it lower, that's going to help you pay off those debts a little bit faster. So once you do that with each company, then you start paying it down. And you tell them that you're going to pay them twice a month or whatever your pay schedule is. Every time you get a check, you're going to send them a check. They're going to be really motivated to work with you and, and really knock down that, that settlement to make a really nice number for you. Um, those are some tips. Keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. You know, And once you get your credit looking good and getting those things off the credit now you have to maintain it right just keep that system going you've already created a habit of having this extra budget that budget it goes towards your 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 bills or your savings at that point if you don't have anything else towards your credit don't build new bills you know and definitely don't stop paying bills so they can hit your credit you can do this little game uh, don't do that just keep that budget going because now that's your new savings and hopefully with this channel that's going to be your investment budget so we got to go ahead and knock that off you it helps you you want to i'm getting tongue-tied here because i want to make sure i say this right you want to clean up your current situation right before you start investing money because technically you don't have money to invest if you have all this bad debt on your credit so let's do that first this is Lee Thornton. Subscribe. Keep up with us. Take care.